one that I'd never want to live again. I was a part of the, the team that reorganized uh, the signal labs at Fort Monmouth uh, and we came up with something called the Electronics Research and Development Command and I was the, the secretary of the general staff and uh, we had colonels that didn't like each other, men and women that are assigned to this command now uh, never have to go through something like we did as we reorganized. The most favorite part was uh, actually supporting the troops in Vietnam during the the Vietnam War. Uh, of course, I, I spent 41, 41 years in the Army. Uh, I had a good time. And I tell people now, and I mean it, that I would still be there if I could. You know, I changed everything that I wanted to change, uh, that I felt was worth spending the time to change. Was a, we had some tough guys come in here as a commander of the signal labs, the commander of the Electronics Research and Development Command, uh, who was the guy that I remember, uh, General Hoff. He loved to bowl, and if you were bowling on his team, if you screwed up, uh, you better not laugh, you better not smile. He was serious about everything. And uh, he wanted to win everything. Although I didn't have a degree, uh, people thought, everybody thought I was an engineer, but uh, I just had a good memory. Uh, we could read fast and would, if we were going to do something that we hadn't done before, tests or whatever it was, uh, I would, would try and be sure that I was better prepared than anybody else. I'd stay up all night reading, studying, getting ready to, for the testing or whatever we were going to do uh, the following morning. I never had to be concerned about what my next assignment was going to be because there was always somebody standing in line or somebody in Washington, somewhere out there, uh, some general or some full colonel or whatever, that uh, had a large, uh, heavy responsibility. And, uh, they, they, they request, always had a request then for me to be assigned. Uh, if I was overseas, it was to Fort Monmouth. Because I'd go overseas and back to Monmouth. I'd go overseas and back to Monmouth. Philippines, Korea, wherever. There was no question in my mind. Uh, I had the best qualified, prepared people. They, I was doing the same thing that the generals and the guys up above were doing for me. I was trying to get them assigned the good ones to my office. And we, we knew we were good. Yeah, I'd say the support that we had to provide to the troops during the Vietnam War. Uh, that's the way I made it. In, 
in terms of reputation, real reputation. But you look back and say, uh, gee, uh, I was lucky, but it, it, uh, it was more than luck. It was hard work and having good people doing a good job and you backing them up, supporting them, and uh, I, I survived.